This is my fourth take. What's up? Hey, we're back with another ranking. If you're new here, uh, this is what I do. I react and review albums. Nothing too crazy. You know, I just give my little silly opinion on it, my, my little twist. I started this channel in February. Uh, I did 40 albums and then I made a little ranking video and I have done another 40 albums and this is my second ranking video. All the albums on here are picked based on recommendations from my viewers. So that's why these picks are a little kind of random. This list is probably like 80% subjective, I want to say. To the people who watch regularly, I just want to say thank you for tuning in, uh, giving me your time of day. Not sure why you chose to watch me, but thank you. But yeah, thank you for all the support. Um, I feel like we've grown so much over the past like couple months. And, and the fact that I've only started this channel like six months ago, we already got like almost 4,000. It's just crazy to me. So my gratitude for you guys or anyone watching this video is immense. And, uh, you know, this, th these are just my opinions. They don't matter. Uh, you guys probably know these albums more than me. I'm just having a little bit of fun. I'm having a little bit of tomfoolery. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let's go. All right, coming in at dead last. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say it like that. Coming in at 40 is Bjork's Medulla. Um, yeah, I admire uh, the very different kind of production that is on this album. How most of the instruments on this album are basically Bjork's mouth. I think that's great. I think it's cool, but honestly, I just can't go back to it. You know, I try listening to this and I love what these songs are about. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't tickle my ears, you know, the way I, the way I want it to. My favorite track has probably got to be Desired Constellation. Uh, not that I return to it often, I just, <laughs> if, I don't, if I'm picking one. Coming in at 39, I got Fragile by Yes. I don't want to disrespect this album. You know what I'm saying? The last people that I want to piss off are prog fans. You know, I already piss y'all enough the fact that I edit my videos. But honestly, uh, there is some like prog aspects that I like about this in general, but it, I just don't find myself returning to this album as much as it's talked up to be. And I don't know if that's just because I'm 19 or something like that. I don't know if it's just because I'm really young or I just don't understand a lot of the different kinds of things going on within these songs. I mean, I do appreciate this album uh, and what it has to offer. But like I said, with the last one on this list, it just doesn't really tickle tickle my fancy. Favorite track though has to be Roundabout. Uh, those memes were pretty funny back in, what year was that? 20. Coming in at 38, I got Lil Uzi Vert's Pink Tape. I was hyped as hell when I was about to listen to this. But after seeing the amount of tracks that it was, I kind of knew deep down that, you know, what was really about to happen. I just want to say I think Flood of the Face and Fire Alarm are both top 10, maybe even top 5 Lil Uzi Vert songs. Other tracks I like from this album are Crush Em and um, Spin Again. I didn't like that one when I first listened to it. You know, Uzi is barely on that Bring Me the Horizon song, alright? It's not an Uzi song, alright? I just want to... Get that off my chest but yeah it's probably uzi's worst album in my opinion i just i don't know i, I just find a lot of tracks forgettable y'all might hate me for this but at 37 i got sufjan stevens illinois i i just don't <laughs> it's, it's just i don't know i don't i just can't listen to this i mean like it's a good album you know the great aspects about it i understand but it's just it's just Casimir Pulaski Day. I just want to say that it was a great song. It's a very beautiful song, and I still think about the topic of that sometimes. I still think about that story. I think it's very moving. I think it's great. And I think this album is very creative in its songwriting and song titles. I, I did almost fall asleep listening to it. I got to be honest. Like, towards that last, like, 10 minutes, I, mean, I, was really, I was really about to tap out. And it's cool, you know? Different strokes for different folks. That's why we're here. It is dark out, man. I'm, it might start raining on my laptop. At 36, I have Black Midi's Schlagenheim. I just listened to this it's it's very fresh it's like like two days ago my latest one and i don't know maybe it just hasn't had enough time to sit yet which might be the excuse i'm giving it to say that it hasn't it just didn't really impact me like the other two black midi albums which are on later in this list i feel like the highs on hellfire and cavalcade just outweighed these ones thought i heard a raindrop I swear I'm hearing some shit. BM, BM, BM. Uh, great, great one. 935 is probably my favorite song. I don't know why. I, d I, I just feel like we peaked at the intro for this album for me. But like I said, I just I just listened to this. So I, I need to listen to it again. I actually have not even re-listened. Coming in at 35, I have uh, Debut by Bjork. I think that there's many diverse elements on this that I enjoy. And I, and I think that this was a very fun listen. I enjoyed myself heavily listening to this. I thought it was a very enjoyable experience. My favorite song on here is uh, Like Someone in Love. I remember hearing uh, a lo-fi song on a Tampa Beats tape a while back. 
and um, I recognize that sample instantly. The setting around it is just kind of like serene. And yeah, uh, I get that this is like kind of low on the list, but I still enjoy this album very much. At 34, I have Black Country New Roads for the first time. People in the comments saying that they like this more than Ants from the, up there. Uh, I just, I don't understand that. I get that it's a more kind of unique sound, but to me, I just, maybe it's the spoken word, maybe like there's more spoken word on here. Which is why, and spoken word isn't really my favorite thing in the world when it comes to, you know, my music enjoyability. And I have a lot of respect for this album, and there's like a lot of cool different kinds of sounds and things going on here. But I just don't think it really compares to their sophomore. My favorite song on here is Track X. Uh, when those female vocals came in on that song, uh, that, was my, that was my favorite part of the album. Coming in at 33, I have... Uh, Bjork again with uh, Von Lakira. The sister album to Vespertine. This was a sad one, you know. This, this was a pretty sad one to listen to. Extreme, extremely personal album by her. Every album by her is a bit personal, I feel like, but on this shit, I felt like her therapist. Favorite track on here is probably Stone Milker, I want to say. The songwriting on this album, I also think it's very fantastic, like on Family and Black Lake. So yeah, great album. At 32, I got Modest Mouse with the lonesome crowded west another one where the a lot like some songs in here just didn't really kind of you know resonate with me you know my ears just kind of rejected some of the sounds on this album but i also did like a lot of aspects about this i love the structure of this album and i love how it ends you know the song about the dude going to heaven i love the way this album kicks off too they were just huge massive amounts of energy a lot of songs i like on here as well like trailer trash and convenient parking some songs felt a little bit long to me like uh chucker's atlas you know that one was that that was a tough listen for me but i still overall enjoyed this album coming in at 31 i got cavalcade by black midi i feel like i sort of understand this album a little bit each song kind of feels like a little mini like autobiography about the character that we're talking about i love i love ascending fourths i feel like that whole song in general just builds up to something spectacular and i find this album probably their easiest to listen to you know easiest on the ears yeah i know it was that quick that was a five minute rain i mean at 30 is alex g's trick I, th I think this album is very easy to digest uh i think it's very fun to listen to i love his songwriting it's very honest favorite tracks on here probably animals advice Sarah, 16 Mirrors. I really like how this album wraps up. I don't have any gripes with this album. I think the only thing that was difficult for me to listen to at first was his voice. It's <laughs> that's just how light it is. Coming out of 29 is Aphex Twins Drug. Drug. So someone said it was pronounced drug use. This album was a trip to listen to. Uh, at some points, I wanted to blow my head off, but at some points, I just felt so serene and at, at one with everything. I'm not gonna lie, I do need a proper re-listen to this. I've only really went back to the songs that I liked. Favorite track on here is probably uh, Bibion Chord, if that's how it's pronounced. Uh, that's just a banger to me, I don't know why. I mean, I, I was dancing to that shit. I still, I still listen to that. April 14th, all the piano songs really just have an emotional effect on me. And I feel like that this is a very personal album from Richard, so I, I, I admire it in many ways for that. It's just some songs on here that genuinely hurt my ears. That's why it's at 29. Coming in at 28 is Bjork's Post. Y'all should see me work out to Army of me you know what i'm saying it gets intense it gets intense i'd be doing i'd be doing some dumbbell incline bjork's all my ears screaming and if you complain oh she's she's really in my sh i also love hyperbald like on it's oh so quiet i feel like the it just gets so intense and then quiet sometimes during that song and i swear to god i've heard that song in a commercial somewhere possibly maybe too is also a very beautiful one to me i think i think this album is great coming out of 27 is apex twins richard d james this is this is just a fun album you know, after I listened to this, I had four finger bib and goon goompas on repeat, you know, for like a week. And then I just kind of stopped listening to all of them. I, I listen to finger bib sometimes now. I still love that song. And I just, I, I just feel cool as fuck whenever I listen to this album. Some songs, yeah, you know, they're not really that accessible to me. They're kind of tricky to listen to. They're kind of hard on my ears, which is why it's not ranked higher for me. But I, I still like a lot of qualities about this. Coming out of 26, I have Talk Talk's Laughing Stock. I loved this album when I first listened to it. But it's weird. It's like after I listen to it it's like the men in black came in and just erased my memory you know this album is very low-key there's not, there's not really a lot of high energy moments but i think it's very calming and it's just it's just a pretty simple album to me i love the themes of this and i love how each song is kind of paced it it just makes it very digestible you know i did my homework once listening to this album and it was it was very good you know one time i popped this album in my little cd thing i got because i actually bought this one 
on CD and I cleaned my room and I swear to God, man, my room was never cleaner. All right, coming in at 25, I have King Cruel's Space Heavy. Someone made a great comment. Uh, it was something along the lines of how they felt as if this album has like always been out because this album ha like did come out very recently and like over the next couple weeks after listening to this like the songs on this album just felt so familiar like they were out for years prior it, it this does not sound like it came out this year so the little deja vu aspect that this album brings is it's very it's very nice My favorite songs on here have to be uh, f empty space cadet flimsier and it makes me excited to, to dive into more of his work because this is the only album that i've listened to you know by him at 24 i got i got crumbling by mid-air thief this is very nice this is very nice this is this is how i imagine medulla listeners feel when they like that it does remind me of sweet trip i think it's very fun to listen to and fun is the word i want to use because it's just it's just a fucking blast you know it's not my language so i don't know what any of these songs are about but I'll, i do know the i do know that i like them favorite song on here is probably may, maybe why or uh, these chains you know this album just puts me in a in a very whimsical kind of state of mind you know i i just start appreciating everything after this coming in at 23 is mount eerie's a crow looked at me um i didn't even like talking about this i feel like an asshole for not putting this number one uh i don't know if i should feel that way this album feels more like poetry than music to me to be honest and i i, I have not i'm gonna be honest i have not went back to it since the first listen and i don't want to you know for good for good for good reasoning favorite track on here though is probably ravens if you watch my video on this you'll you'll you'd see why that was the one that got me coming in at 22 i have godspeed you black emperors f dash a dash infinity i don't know if that's how that's actually you know said but that's how I, I read it you know a crow looked at me made me scared of someone else dying in my life this album made me scared to die i think dead flag blues is uh just haunting just so haunting although this album is kind of like a blur to me you know i, I listened to it all and i was like what the fuck did i just listen to it wasn't a fun listen but it was a very you know kind of you know, holy shit moment providence made me realize you know what I can listen to a 29 minute song. You know, I, I, I really can just casually turn on a 29 minute song and just listen to it. You know, I'm like that. Coming in at 21, I have Travis Scott's Utopia. I'm sorry for putting this album over like <laughs> a lot of these. I know it like just came out, but um, I'm so <laughs> Hey, I'm proud of Travis, man. You know, I, I don't think that this lived up to the five year wait. I'm not disappointed by this either. I think, it, I think it's a very strong release by him. My favorite song off it has to be Sirens. Uh, his verse on my eyes I think is incredible telekinesis is great I think I think the features on this uh, are kind of hit or miss for me you know some songs you know I felt like n needed a feature and other songs I felt like you know should have been stripped back of some but yeah the only reason why I put it above a lot of these albums is because I've just been returning to it so much recently but over time you know all the albums I listed before I truly think are like objectively better albums I just like I just like this coming in at 20 I have Bjork's homogenic if I'm ranking Bjork's albums uh, right now in general I, th I, I put this second to Vespertine. I really enjoy this one a lot. Tracks like Unravel, Five Years are just very beautiful to me. This song features my favorite song from her as well, Alarm Call. I love Alarm Call. When she says beep beep, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Pluto also did grow on me and I think All is Full of Love is amazing even though it is extremely loud. At 19, I got Nick Drake's uh, Pink Moon. Just so short and beautiful, man. This guy's songwriting, his guitar playing, it's just front to back. I think that shit is damn near perfect. My favorite song in here personally is Place to Be. Pink Moon is also great. I still till this day don't know what he means by, you know, Pink Moon. You know, I still don't really know, you know, what his definition of it is, but it's cool. You know, I got my little definition and I think everyone does as well. I also think From the Morning is just a beautiful closer. Coming in at 18, I have Swans to be kind. I've only given this album one re-listen and just just me saying I've only given something one re-listen, you know, just take that, take that with a grain of salt because I still am not as familiar with this album as I'd want to be. I think if I did understand every aspect and if I could recall certain moments off the top of my head, then this album would, I, I'd probably put it higher. Favorite track on here is probably Oxygen or Screenshot. It's probably oxygen, man. Like, y'all should see me in a gym to oxygen, bro. I'd be, I'd be throwing them shits up. At 17, I have Animals by Pink Floyd. The only song I've returned to on this one a lot is uh, probably Dogs. But just the songwriting on this album and its relation to, you know, Animal Farm. I think, I think those two are related. I think I read a comment saying that they were. Because I, because I did read that book. So it makes this album, uh, you know, easier for me to understand. Some aspects to it that I'm kind of still confused by and don't really understand, which is why I can't put it as high as I want to but i'm sure once i become more acquainted with it I'll, I'll find myself returning to it and enjoying it a lot more than i should be right now at 16 i have elliot smith's either 
or guy songwriting is just uh, it's it's crazy i just feel so bad for the guy man if a track on here is a ballad of big nothing say yes i also enjoy a lot from start to finish i think his vocals are are just very easy for me to get into they're very like soft they're, they're, they're very gentle i thought this was a good place to start in his discography i definitely need to listen to another album coming in at 15 i have metal by pink floyd it might be an, an unpopular opinion uh to think that i personally enjoy metal more than animals it just has more moods that i you know can associate with different things more I think Echoes is just an incredibly fun song to listen to from start to finish. I think it's, it's it's just such an incredible journey. But my favorite song on here has to be A Pillow of Winds. I just think, you know, a love song, That's it's just so beautiful to me. It just makes me want to sit at the beach and just, you know, die. Coming in at 14, I got Black Midi's Hellfire. This was just, <laughs> I don't understand my, like, obsession with this album. I just keep, like, going back to listen to it, and I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's not that I, like... I love these songs, you know, I just can't stop listening to this album. Just so many very intriguing themes on these songs. I don't know, I just think it's so fun to like go back to it. I, I, it's just, it's, it's just brain melting. Favorite song on here and Black Midi song in general has to be Still. I actually return to that song quite a bit outside of the context of re-listening to this album, like in, in the whole. I, I think this album just ends so crazy too with the guy on stage. Uh, he dies and everyone laughs at him. The instrumentation on Hellfire, the title track to the intro, it's just, it's just what like reels me into this album. It's it's just it's just perfect to me. My only complaint about this album is that it's like 38 minutes it should be like 50 at 13 i have the big thief album uh long name it's weird because this genre like like i don't know what genre this is like alt country or something it's not even like my personal favorite genre like i don't even really like fuck with it that much i, I like there's just so many songs in this album so i found a lot of highlights on here and i returned to a lot of them her songwriting too is also just you know outside of my english comprehension so it's 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 hard for me to uh kind of understand because of i i have a smooth brain but yeah so many songs that i love on here no reason certainty change uh simulation swarm i know those are all popular but uh a song that i think is incredibly underrated on here is a blurred view so if you're not listening to that frequently uh, you should be and yeah i remember like around the time i was listening to this album i was like on vacation and i like i took my airpods in and i walked into into the ocean and i had uh, the title track playing in, in in my ears and I just I felt I fell in love with this album coming in at 12 is the avalanches since I left you uh, This album the samples. I mean, it's all samples, but it's just uh, The way everything just flows together so well and I I think it, it just features so many different things from different genres and it's just a big cesspool of just Amazing I get lost re-listening to this album, you know each track track after track and I don't even you know really have a favorite song on here because they just kind of all like feel the same to me they're all so great they all like are like pivotal roles within this album if i had to say a favorite track it's probably diners only that transitions into a different feeling that transition those two songs back to back that is the, the that's it's mj and pippin you know that's it's amazing at 11 i have car seat headbreasts uh twin fantasy the way this guy writes about love is just unparalleled to any anything that i've heard probably ever i got sober to death on repeat beach life in death is one of my favorite songs that i listen to on this channel in general it's 13 minutes of just like what the fuck this guy is going through some shit and the whole theme of this album being presented to us kind of in the end that's that's kind of when i figured out what everything was about you know it, i feel like the story just ties so well together coming in at 10 i have uh black country new roads ants from up there another album where i was like damn this guy's been through some shit uh his songwriting is you know it, he says a, he says a line and i'm just like damn that was a bar you know that was just that was crazy and maybe i should i should recognize that more on uh for the first time and maybe i will maybe i should give that a proper re-listen like how i listened to this like 10 times since favorite track is uh the place where he inserted the blade i don't care that it's you know the most most popular one or the most loved uh it's just it's it's crazy to me it is crazy to me. If you haven't seen my reaction to this video and to that song, you know, that's, it was, it was a life changing moment for me. Coming in at nine, I have a why is blood with, uh, why is blood, why is blood with Titanic rising. Her voice, man, you know, her voice and just the instruments on here, they just complement each other so well. Every time I listen to this album, I feel like I'm on the verge of levitating. My favorite song on here, production wise, is movies. I love the arpeggio on that. It's just, I was just kind of buried in there. But my favorite song on here, at first it was Andromeda, 
but now it's probably, you know, a lot's gonna change. I, I just think it's such a great intro. Also, I'm a huge fan of that ambient title track, and I'm, I'm so glad that, that the person commented that there was a longer version of it because I have listened to that. Coming in at number eight, I got Fishman's 98, 12, 28. I did two videos on this, and I did that for a reason because after I listened to the first disc, I thought, oh my god, this is incredible. I don't want to spoil it by, you know, listening to too much. So I split it up into two videos and thank God that I did. I watched the live performance of this, uh, of Long Season, and I think that itself I'd put, you know, alone at number eight. I mean, everything on this album is just kind of a bonus to me at that point. But it's my favorite out. My favorite track has to be track number three. I don't know what the translation is. I, I, I read it in the video, but I forgot. And I, <laughs> I also love In the Flight. Uh, everything else, you know, I kind of, it's cool when I listen to it, but those are the only two tracks I really return to and I, and I listen to on a very, very, very fre frequent basis. And, and the live performance of this, when I watched it, I was like, damn, they are cooking. They are cooking. And I watched it again later on and I was like, damn, they are cooking. Coming in at seven, I have The Cures, Disintegration. This is a very recent one that I did. I mostly like every song on this album. I think it's almost perfect to me it's just the kind of genre that i enjoy you know it's the kind of genre that makes my ears go you know hey let's let's keep that on let's keep listening to this i do think this album kind of starts stronger than it finishes with plain song pictures of you and close down those three songs are like my favorite <laughs> like just just listening to those three like back to back to back i also love the atmosphere on the same deep water as you i love the song writing on prayers for rain i love the kind of energy shift uh, that we took on fascination street everything on here just has an aspect to it every song on here as an ass like just plays a different role and why i love this album so much coming in at six i have swans uh soundtracks for the blind i feel weird putting this like this high but like i'm not gonna lie to y'all like this was one of the most fun album experiences i've ever like put myself through like song for song i like did not know what was coming next and i was just like i was horrified but i wasn't like actually scared i was the kind of scared i was more like horrifyingly intrigued than you know scared red velvet corridor is such an amazing opening it's just a sign that everything is about to spiral out of control and it sounds like that you know this instrumental is spiraling already i was a prisoner in your skull is horrifying the start of it and you know it, I, I can honestly just do a whole video about talking about each song on here and how it makes me feel but yeah the instruments on that song just kind of you know fade into craziness as the guy comes in and just starts fucking attacking the person and starts harassing them on how fucked up they are just because they can't see helpless child uh after helpless child like that 16 minute epic i just I'm just already mentally drained and the track like the album has barely started so many different genre inspirations I feel like you know I, I like when volcano came on I was like what the fuck but I love that shit. All Lined Up might be the scariest song, you know, of all time. You know, I, I've never heard anything freakier. You know, I, I truly don't understand what Michael is thinking writing that. But you know what? I'm not going to question anything. To be honest, I'm afraid of him. I actually find the second half more horrifying, even though it's kind of hard for me to remember. Like, uh, when I was like, when I was like, like halfway through the second disc, I was like, just kind of like fading into obscurity. I just didn't know who I was anymore. Before I move on to my next one, I just want to say that uh, YRP, uh, the scream of that song, sounds like Stewie Griffin. And uh, that's, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> top five. Top five. Uh, I'm kicking off the top five with, you know, I'm cheating. You know, I'm putting five and four right next to each other. Uh, I'm putting both Aphex Twins selected ambient works. I will say though, at five, I think I'm gonna put uh, Volume Two. Just such a great album to to just sit down and do some deep thinking. I, I was not expecting to like a long-winded ambient album this much, considering it was as long as like soundtracks for the blind. You know, there are some songs on here that genuinely I. I can't listen to I'm very afraid of that like they just don't put me in a good state of mind that I want to be in so I have to exit from them but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you 10 songs that I grabbed from this that I I like to ponder to and you know that's that's my little mix uh, those songs are 1 3 6 7 10 13 14 17 19 and 20 that is that is David Smag's certified list so at four I have volume one of this and I put volume one above two because I just I don't know I'm just kind of in the zone when I listen to that shit my one of my life goals now is to take Adderall and listen to selected ambient works volume one I just want to hear pulse with in a club setting you know before I die that's all that's all I want first song you know stall two I feel like the first like six tracks on here 
you know, everything before Green Calx is a perfect song to me. But I do love he Helios Fan, uh, We Are The Music Makers, the final song in here. I think it's a cool way to just kind of chill out the album. At number three, I have Burials Unshrew. This album just has like such a deep spot in my heart. I feel like it combines what I like about both selected ambient works. You know, you got the kind of ambient songs, you know, like Dog Shelter, UK, In McDonald's, Endorphin, you know, those songs I just kind of space out to. And then you got songs that I could just fucking turn up to. Ghost Hardware, Archangel, Rave. You know, the other songs, you know, I don't really love too much, but you know, I feel like they play a great spot in the album. But yeah, he is, he is literally me. I, I, I need to listen to another album by him. Coming in number two, I have Godspeed You Black Emperors, Lift Your Skinny Fists, Like Antennas to Heaven. Do y'all know, like, what this album, like, means to people? Like, when I listened to this for the first time, I, you know, I, like, I understood, you know, how great the music was. But it, two weeks later, I listened to it again, and it was just different you know i should i should have recorded my second time listening to this and i was reading the comments as i was going through it and just seeing like that music like this just saves lives you know it just like if the aliens are pointing a laser beam at earth and they said show me an album or i'm gonna blow this bitch up i think i might show them this one you know i feel like that they would have respect for us you know after that and there's not even like lyrics by like band members you know it's just little spoken word bits but i feel like you know, the way that they're, they're like slowed down is amazing. You know, the little gas station kind of uh, thing that played after the first song. You know, I feel like that added to the atmosphere so well. Uh, the preacher, you know, deep voice on static, you know, that was ha haunting. You know, this is premium music that I would prefer to listen to if I was dying. You know, I read a comment somewhere saying that this album just encapsulates uh, the most beautiful and dark things about humanity and you know I don't want to sound pretentious or anything but I think that that is just correct finally at number one I have grace by Jeff Buckley I was just shocked I was just shocked I didn't I did not know that a man's voice could do that I watched some live performances after of him and uh I was shocked even more because he's better live song for song on here you know when i when i'm when i'm at my job you know and i can't have like headphones in uh i think about songs i think about music because you know i love songs i love music and this like the lyrics on this album like his singing it just gets stuck in my fucking head every song on here is an earworm to me so real lover you should come over hallelujah my favorite song on here though lilac wine lilac wine easily i sang that shit in the car i can't and i just can't i cannot go note for note with this guy but yeah if you haven't watched videos of this guy live uh you should you should and you know now i'm pissed that this guy only had one album and now i'm ending this video on a pissed note and i don't want to be pissed so yeah thank you for watching uh thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed uh please like the video you know even though this list i put together very roughly you know it took me a while because i don't want to fuck anything up uh but at the end of the day you know as i was making it i'm like this is not gonna be gonna be perfect you know a month from now i'm gonna resent me making this list like a year from now i might be like why the fuck did i put travis scott at 20 but you know what i've been listening to that album and it just happened so yeah i want to say thank you for listening thank you for listening to my takes even though they might be pretty bad if you want to subscribe to watch uh my new reviews that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing another 40 and then another ranking video and then who knows maybe i'll branch out into other things you know as i'm doing this but thank you for watching i really appreciate that uh like and subscribe i will catch you later thank you